What's new in the March update of Android 12.1 or Android 12L running on the Google Pixel 6 or the Google Pixel 6 Pro? Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you what is new, what is missing, what has been fixed, what has not been fixed in the March update of Android 12.1 or Android 12L for the Google Pixel 6 and the Google Pixel 6 Pro. Now as you can see, we do have the build running on our Pixel 6 and if you were hoping that you will see the Android version as 12.1 or 12L, that unfortunately is not the case. Google decided to keep it as Android Android 12 only but the security patch is from March 2022. The first major change which is an exclusive for the Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 Pro is live caption for calls. So if you go into settings, sound and vibration, go into live caption, enable the toggle for live caption and then you can also choose whether you want to caption your calls every time always or off and you can also enable this toggle to type responses during calls now when you get a call you can live caption it and you can also type in your response and whatever you type in the other person is going to hear that and here is a small demo of live caption in calls the other person has call captions enabled please start speaking hello how are you I am good, thanks. How are you? I am fine. What about you? Thank you. That means a lot to me. Next up, they have also added Night Sight for Snapchat. So those of you who are using Snapchat should be able to use Night Sight in that. Unfortunately, I do not use Snapchat, so I cannot give you a demo of that. Then they have also added a new Pixel battery widget. So where do you find this widget? You can press and hold on the empty space on your home screen, go into widgets, scroll down, and here in you should see a section for settings services. Now in case you do not see this section, all you have to do is sideload the APK which is linked in the description of the video, and you should have a widget like this. Now this widget over here is also going to show you the percentage of battery remaining for any Bluetooth device which are connected so here it is my sound code liberty 3 pros they just got connected battery is at 90% and you can of course resize this widget to your personal taste in case you want to do that and while we are talking about widgets we can also go back to the widget section here and you will notice that you have the new weather widgets in a separate section so they are still present in the google section as well but you also have a new weather option as well and then last but not the least if you press and hold on any application go into the widgets section this page over here is now full screen previously it was half screen now this page is full screen then with respect to your at a glance widget you of course if you tap on the temperature it will open the weather for that specific day however if you tap on the date you can now access your calendar Next up, they have also added some new languages for live translate and live caption. So if you go into settings, system, live translate, add a language, you can use your French for live caption. Similarly, they have also added support for Spanish and Italian in live caption. So if I search for Spanish, you will see live caption over here. And similarly, if I search for Italian, you should see live caption supported for those languages, which means any YouTube videos which you're playing in those languages are going to be translated in real time and similarly your interpreter mode now has support for Spanish, French and Italian as well. Next up if you press and hold on the empty space on your home screen you will notice that this pop-up window now has my previous five wallpapers which I had applied. If I select any of them they are going to be applied right from this specific window. You will see a pretty cool animation as well. There it is. Pretty cool but a limitation over here is that if there are any wallpapers which you have set using any other third-party application they will show up over here but it is not going to 
work then going into wallpapers and style let us go into change wallpaper if you go into curated culture you will notice that you have three new wallpapers for women's day and the icon on the top right which lets you change wallpaper automatically has gotten a new look but the option is still the same Next up, let us access our quick settings panel and something you will notice is that the quick setting panel icon, now it resizes based on my accessing the quick settings panel. There it is, you can see it in effect. Then if you do not have any notifications, the text for no notifications is now centered on the screen. And if I turn on airplane mode, once I do that, I go back and try to turn on the internet. For starters, you will notice that the animation is now coming from the tile and going back to the tile. And then you also have a new option of turning off airplane mode over here on the bottom left in case you want to use that option. Similarly, your animation for the power menu as well. It like appears and disappears from the button itself, something which I think is pretty cool. And while we are talking about animations, another thing you will notice is that if you are exiting an application, the animation now goes into that specific app icon. Here it is. You can see it on your screen. As soon as I go back from the settings menu, the animation goes into the icon itself. And this is applicable for all the applications. Next up, if you access your volume panel, you will notice that the lines have now disappeared. The spacing is a bit more and you have a new option called settings on the bottom left and the text of done here on the bottom right has an accent colored background. If I tap on settings, it does take me to the sound and vibration settings. Next up, we can move over to our recents. So a change you will notice is that the clear all button again has a background in an accent color and then you have some changes for your split screen. So let us say here is the YouTube application. I press and hold on the YouTube icon. You see the option which I get now is split top. So I select this option and now I have to choose the next application which I want to use in split screen. So let us use the Chrome application. So now I have YouTube on top, Chrome at the bottom. What if you want to switch them? Well, all you have to do is double tap on this bar and the applications are going to switch their positions. Another nifty change you will notice is that the rounded corners here are based on the rounded corner of your device previously they were squarish now you have a rounded look and last but not the least even if i exit my application pair go back to the recents bam here it is you can see that the app pair is still there all i need to do is tap on it and it will open those applications wherever i had left off then there have also been some addition to the haptics now whenever you are switching an application you will feel the haptic feedback similarly when you are moving between your recents you will feel the haptic feedback if you kill an application you will again feel the haptic feedback clear all will also give you that haptic feedback and unfortunately you do not have the option of turning these off and if you have a case on you might not feel that haptic feedback but once you remove the case the subtle haptic feedback is definitely present next up those of you who are not a big fan of the dual line clock on your lock screen you now have the option of disabling that go into settings display lock screen you have a toggle to disable the dual line clock then if you go into the screensaver option you will notice that you now have the option to start your screensaver right away in case you want to use it then if you go into the settings system go into gestures option scroll down press and hold power button this option now has this new animation which shows you how this option works and last but not the least when you are on your pin entry screen and you enter a pin you will notice that the text has now moved up previously it was here in the middle now whatever pin you enter has moved a bit up and before we end the video, let us talk about something which has not been fixed. So those of you who are using LDAC with your Bluetooth devices at high bitrate, that issue has still not been fixed. And 
if after installing this update you feel that the vibration strength has gone down a wee bit then you my dear friend are not alone there are a lot of people who feel the same and there it is peeps that was what is new what is missing what has been fixed what has not been fixed in the march 2022 update of android 12.1 or android 12 l on the google pixel 6 and the google pixel 6 pro and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you